Just a little while ago here on my channel, I shared a new series called Alcohol with you guys. I will continue on with this series as I shop for wine on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis just to show you what I got. Today's video is another Trader Joe's alcohol where I will show you seven bottles uh, or seven different wines that I scored there. Almost forgot to say, welcome back to my wine diary and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here again and watching this video. If you're new to my channel, I shoot all wine related videos, educational and fun, so please check them out and if you like what you saw, then go ahead and subscribe. Subscription is free, it's right down below. I'd love to have you here as a part of my wine diary family. When I shop for wine, I usually get affected by a couple of factors. One is the weather outside, so when it's as hot as it is right now in the state of Florida where I reside, I definitely look for something crisper, lighter, refreshing, uh, and uh, this wine haul will show you how I actually had a split of uh, white wines and red wines, and even my red wines are not that heavy, if that makes sense. And another thing that um, also affects me when shopping for wine or kind of dictates which route I'll go with when it comes to wine is the food that I'm buying in the same grocery store. So uh, this time around, we grabbed uh, a ton of charcuterie board items, so a lot of different fruits and veggies, some nuts, a ton of cheeses. I love Trader Joe's cheese selection too, so when it comes to cheese and wine, Trader Joe's is really, really good in my opinion. I like it. Uh, so we grabbed a ton of just like lighter, crispier, you know, charcuterie tapas style foods in there. Nothing heavy, nothing overwhelming. Uh, I personally don't eat red meat, so uh, I never really pair my wines with red meat just because I don't eat it, but my husband does, so sometimes we'll get a bottle for him to enjoy with a steak or something like that. So that's just kind of where my headspace is when I shop for wines, but let's go ahead and take a look at the six that I bought. So I said seven, but I actually got two bottles of the same wine. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. Very often Trader Joe's will have a little stand where they let you try some wines that they're promoting at the time. And I was not the sucker who got sucked in this time. It was my husband. I was looking at other wines and I kind of glimpsed at the stand, but I was not interested in trying any at the time. And all of a sudden I heard my husband behind me saying, I'll try both. And I'm like, oh, okay. So Okay, let, let's go see what he's trying. And um, lo and behold, uh, they were giving out Vino Verde to try. Vino Verde is not new to me. I've actually shot a video on Vino Verde. Uh, please check it out. I will link it here or right here uh, in the banner. So go ahead and check it out. I've definitely had it. And this specific one, I've had as well. So matter of fact, when I was shooting the Vino Verde um, wine, I actually... I believe highlighted this one specifically. Um, so this one is a Portugal Vino Verde and uh, yeah, I tried it. It's under $10. I think it's crisp. It, it's really nice tasting. I like it. It's pretty acidic. It's light and crisp and I enjoy it. So the color of this one is actually not as green as Vino Verde can get at times, uh, but it's definitely this uh, like yellow hay, you know, straw, uh, color with tiny, tiny bits of green hues to them as well. So, I mean, for $8 and I believe 99 cents, you cannot go wrong. This is a great wine for a hot summer day, poolside, beach, uh, you name it. Um, also, this one specifically says 90 points on it. If you are a believer in points, I suggest you check it out. Uh, yet another video that I made just recently is explaining wine points to you guys. So if you're still confused about what wine points actually are, please make sure to check that video out and don't be confused anymore. So as my husband was trying the Vino Verde wines behind me, I myself was actually in a white wine section. And as you know, Trader Joe's actually um, has two different two different categories as far as like how do they display their wine. So one is by country. It's like one stand that's just by country. You know, they have France, Italy, uh, and then Spain and Portugal down below. And they also have American wines that's all, um, that's all divided by the wine type. So I was on the international side and I was looking at French wines. I wanted something crisp and light, but still kind of complex with uh, a ton of, uh, 
ton of beautiful smell to it, uh, gorgeous palette. So I grabbed a Chablis bottle and this specific one is from Burgundy. Uh, I also think that I've tried this one before. This specific Chablis is not new to me um, and it's a 2022 vintage. So uh, yeah, for under $10 again, I thought this was a good score and I know for a fact I will enjoy it on a hot summer day. As I was already on my international journey of Trader Joe's wines and I was looking at white wines, I could not pass by a good Albarino. I love Albarinos. I think that they are unfortunately not as popular as they should be here in the United States. And uh, this is a 2021 Albarino from Spain. Uh, it's an imported wine. Um, it does have a barcode here from uh, just the import stamp. I love Albarinos. That is exactly the complexity um, that I'm looking for in a white wine that's still fresh and crisp. I think Albarinos very rarely disappoint. I mean, it's got to be a complete failure of a year or a vineyard for them to be um, bad per se. I at least have not had a bad Albarino before. So I usually go for them. If, you know, I had a comment another day on my Sauvignon Blanc video um, saying that they thought, that person thought that the grape was just so boring. And quite frankly, that's exactly why I sometimes prefer slightly more interesting quote unquote grapes such as Albarino. So this one right here was probably the most expensive bottle that I got out of the seven. Uh, and this one, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, was $13.99. Again, it's a, it's a tremendously great price. So definitely not expensive, but just a little bit pricier than the rest of the bottles that I got. Moving on to my red wine. So this was the bottle that I actually got two of. And if you guys, uh, have followed me for a while, or if you've seen my Primitivo versus Zinfandel video, you know that I do not go to Trader Joe's without buying this wine. In my opinion, as far as a bang for your buck goes, you are just in such luck with this Primitivo. So this is by Epicuro, um, and it is an Italian Primitivo from Puglia. 2020 vintage this one is. So Epicuro actually makes some other wines as well, but this Primitivo is hands down the best cheap wine that Trader Joe has. It is so delicious. And if you decant it, forget about it. It's just absolutely great in my opinion. So the cost of this Primitivo is $5.99. They have not changed the price of this wine in years. And I cannot believe how cheap it costs for how good it is. If any of you out there hate this wine, please tell me at least one reason why you don't like it in the comments down below. But if you have not tried this and you love Zinfandels and you love Primitivos, I beg you, do yourself a favor and find this Primitivo at Trader Joe's. Again, it's in the international section under the Italian wines. You'll find it not too far from Chianti's. Um, so look for bright labels, uh, black and red. This one is, and then Epicuro has, I think, a black and blue label for some other wine that they make. But this Primitivo is amazing. Please try it. The next two red wines that I got are a Syrah bottle, uh, or I should say a Shiraz because it's from Australia, and another blend of Syrah and Cabernet. So this one is another staple of mine that I get pretty much every time I go to Trader Joe's. I've heard some people um, being a little bit on the fence about this one specifically. I personally like it. Um, so it is a 50-50 blend of Syrah and Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, um, and to me, personally, it is very unique and the grapes are so, so ripe that I just absolutely love it. This one has some hints of vanilla to it, uh, yet it still has that, you know, peppery taste of Syrahs as well. And again, the price is just absolutely tremendous. I think it's $7 or $7.99, so it's very affordable. The bottle looks absolutely gorgeous if you want to grab it going to a party. The taste is great. Again, I don't quite understand why people not like it. Um, 
but yeah as far as just stocking up your house with some wines for the month i definitely grab one or two of these guys to always have it in the house decant this one uh, as well as any red wine or white one for that matter i shot another video on decanters just recently where i spoke to decanting pretty much everything possible but the sparkling wines so if you don't decant your wines um, please at the very least aerate them put a little tip of an aerator on them when you pour them out but i like this one i could not pass this by last but not least is probably my heaviest uh, and most complex red wine or actually any wine that i got from trader joe's this run uh, and this is an italian shiraz um, you guys may already know that when Shiraz or Syrah grape comes from the old world, we call it Syrah, and when it comes from the new world, um, and specifically Australia or New Zealand, we call it Shiraz. In fact, it's the very same grape varietal, um, same thing, just called two different names. So this one here, I have no idea what to expect um, from it. It's actually a 2016 vintage, you can see right here the year, but the price of it is what's kind of throwing me off a little bit so just for the fun of it i decided to grab it and try this is by um let me see i think it's called po posy shiraz mclaren valley and this bottle cost me five dollars and 99 cents so um they're promising us some very savory aromas here blackberry raspberry plum um you know some wild herbs exotic herbs and black pepper which is very common for any shiraz in general but again i've never tried it i kind of like the bottle i thought it was fun uh, and 5.99 i mean what do i have to lose if i don't like it i'll pour it out for that price right and this is everything for this episode of my wine diary and alcohol from trader joe's uh, if you guys have tried any of these wines or if you buy them when you go to trader joe's please leave a comment down below and let me know which one that is and why you like it um, but these are pretty much my staples i didn't go fancy we kind of had a quick run so i had to be very quick with my wine selection so i uh, jumped onto the well-known ones that i um, get a lot and then just a couple of white ones that I wanted to uh, have in my fridge to have on a hot summer day but um, yeah I'm sure I'll enjoy them and I'll share my opinions with you not only here on YouTube but also on Instagram follow me on Instagram the handle is down below thank you for being here and until next time cheers everyone